Shenzhen takes pride in the fact that they've been recognized as the birthplace of world-class enterprises, most notably China's largest network and telecommunications equipment supplier, Huawei. In just a little over 20 years, Huawei has surpassed many well-known companies to become the number two global telecom solution provider by revenue. I feel very fortunate to be able to participate in the entire period of Huawei's growth, from a small startup company to becoming the second largest telecom solutions provider in the world. Ken Hu is the deputy chairman of Huawei Technologies and chairman of Huawei USA. During his 20 years, he's seen the company grow into a global leader in the telecommunications market. Huawei was established in Shenzhen in 1987 with an investment of only several thousand dollars. It started as a business that resold PBX equipment. In 1992, it developed and deployed its own digital switching solution in rural Chinese markets. Soon after that, Huawei expanded to major cities in China and other emerging markets with a comprehensive product portfolio. By 2000, Huawei's international sales had exceeded $100 million. With that experience and success, Huawei quickly won major customers in Europe, Latin America, and almost every region of the world. Today, Huawei provides customized network solutions for telecom carriers in over 140 countries, serving one-third of the world's population and has been trusted by 45 of the top 50 telecom operators around the world. Huawei's success is due in large part to its commitment to developing cutting-edge technology. Huawei has over 100,000 employees worldwide, and about half of them are engaging in R&D. Globally, Huawei has more than 17 R&D centers. Customer-centric is Huawei's core value. No matter whom you ask at Huawei, you'll get a pretty consistent answer. Serving customers is the only reason Huawei exists. Huawei's commitment to customers has driven the company to invest in innovation, and that investment has paid off big. The company's phenomenal growth throughout the world illustrates that, and its expansion into the Western markets has helped to launch it even further. At their Santa Clara offices, you'll find the U.S. R&D Innovation Center, designed specifically to better serve its North American customers' needs while setting new industry trends. The telecommunications market is going through a um, tremendous revolution with the advent of things like consumer multimedia as well as mobile office. We're very much focused on services, how to provide those services, but the underlying architecture um, and infrastructure which allow that to be very cost effectively delivered. Huawei's commitment to innovation has been a great boost for the workforce as well. In Santa Clara, Huawei has created over 450 jobs, many of which are high-level experts in the telecom industry. They have over 700 employees in North America and over 51,000 worldwide dedicated to research and development. Last year alone, Huawei invested $135 million in the U.S. and over $2.5 billion globally in R&D. We tap into the talent pool and the regionality of every location across the world. John Rose, Senior VP and General Manager of Huawei North American R&D, was the former Global Chief Technology Officer at Nortel and is considered a well-known industry visionary. I think the real value Huawei brings to the U.S. market is the fact that we're actually simultaneously a very large and, and, and capable company, but also a fairly young company, uh, meaning that we're, we're not really encumbered by the hundred-year legacy of some of our competitors. Uh, when it comes time to build a new technology or to focus on a new problem, we can actually focus on just that problem. The company's business model is a breath of fresh air for this industry. It's allowed Huawei to delve deep into new innovation and really leave its mark. Huawei has brought numerous innovations to North America, developing the world's first Super WDM technology, conducting the world's first trial of next generation broadband access technology for Verizon, and together with Clearwire, Huawei deployed the world's first four transmitter, four receiver, 4G system in North America, significantly improving network performance and energy efficiency. As a forerunner of innovation, Huawei contributes significantly to telecom standards organizations around the globe. Richard Brennan is Vice Director of Industry Standards. The standards process is an important part of bringing Huawei's new innovations to customers because at the end of the day, everything we do at Huawei needs to work in a customer's network and that's a very important part of the process. Globally, Huawei serves on over 120 standards organizations with many leadership roles.
today, Huawei is one of the largest producers of intellectual property in the world uh, on a global scale. And that's a fairly new phenomenon over the last, let's say, five to seven years. But for us, it's an incredibly important tool because it puts us in a playing field where we're now equivalent to the large patent holders and patent producers in the intellectual property discussion that the industry requires. To be able to achieve a global leadership position, the company must be able to attract the best minds in the industry from around the world. In a recent tour of their Shenzhen facilities, we visited the employees' housing and recreation rooms. The campus even has a small hospital and a shopping center. With all its perks, it makes it a very desirable place to work, and not just for the locals, but also for Huawei expat employees. And I knew this company, I knew it was highly dyn dynamic, highly uh, innovative, and that's the reason why uh, I joined mostly. In 2008, Christoph Kutel, with his family, decided to lay down roots in Shenzhen. Christoph felt a strong connection with Huawei and appreciated the unique business culture. I haven't seen companies treating customers like Huawei does here. We try to understand the questions behind the questions. We try to understand the industry insights and to provide the best solution for our customers. Clearly, Huawei has found a way to continuously improve and become a global industry leader. But also as important, they stay true to their value of being a local global company. As a responsible corporate citizen, Huawei gives back to local communities with generous donations, clothing drives, and volunteer hours as well. In the U.S., Huawei has created over 1,100 jobs nationwide. Huawei also makes a large contribution to the U.S. economy with over $6.1 billion in purchases from U.S.-based companies in 2010, the equivalent of creating an estimated 32,000 new jobs. Some have described Huawei as the biggest company no one knows about, but it's pretty clear that will change as Huawei's innovations influence the next generation of telecom technology. To learn more about Huawei, visit them online at Huawei.com.